Hello wonderful viewers, welcome to my channel, Aquaba. Sawubona. Namaste. Bienvenue. I'm very happy to share with you my great inspirational stories. To my wonderful subscribers, and great viewers at large, I'm very grateful for your prayers, love, and support. I pray that the good Lord will bless you all. The story you are about to watch is about how bad advice from people turned a loving mother into a monster. Please watch the whole story for better understanding. Also, let me know what you think about this story by leaving your comment in the comments section. Kindly like, subscribe, and share my videos. God bless you all. <laughs> How long am I going to cry before you hear my cry for help, dear Lord? Are my sins unforgivable? <laughs> I know you can hear me. Please do not turn your back on me. My enemies are celebrating. They mock me day in and day out. Let not my enemies wrongfully rejoice over me. Neither let them wink with the eye that hate me without a cause. Have mercy on me God and bless my womb. You did it for Hannah, Sarah, and so many people in the Bible, so God, please do it for me too. You said it in your word according to the book of John 14 verse 13. And whatever you ask in my name, I will do, so that the Father may be glorified in the Son. Please use me as a living testimony God. Fill my heart with joy. Children are gifts and blessings from you, please gift me one. May my prayers be heard and answered. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen and Amen. Why are you bent on killing me before my time? How many times do I have to tell you that it's not safe going to the hill at night to pray? Is God not in your house anymore? I don't think God is still here in this house. So allow me go to the hills to pray. Maybe there, he will hear me and answer me. I don't care whether it's safe or not. Why are you taking this matter this far, honey? Relax, God will fix this. In his own time, he will make everything beautiful for us. Relax you say, it is easy for you to say that, because you are not the one being mocked out there. Do you know what I go through at my workplace? And at the women's meetings? They mock me, they call me barren, others call me childless woman, and so many horrible names. And here you are telling me to relax. Honey, I have told you not to take what people say to you out there seriously. Moreover, I'm your husband, and I'm not complaining. That is the problem. You seem so relaxed for my liking. It's like you are not interested in having children, which I don't understand. You should be angry at God till he gives you a child. Unless there is something you are not telling me. What do you mean by that? Well, excuse me, I'm very tired and need to rest. I just don't understand my wife lately. There is always tension in this house. This is really stressing me out. Dear God, please do not let my home be destroyed. Two days later. She's coming, she's coming. I just hate seeing her. <laughs> I just wonder why grown-ups will leave their homes early in the morning to come and gossip about someone. That is a shame. Is there anything else to say that people don't know already? What can we even gossip about? Exactly. After all, we know those who are not capable of getting pregnant. And we also know those who are married to men who can make them pregnant. Like you and I. <laughs> Thank God my enemies are not my God. Their words have no effect on me. My God will disappoint them all. A few moments later, at Michael's office. So ladies and gentlemen, the purpose of this presentation is to make sure, the economy. Sorry, I meant the anorchomy. Ash, what is the right word again? Economy. Yes economy. Ash, I don't think I can do this. I can't continue with this presentation. I'm sorry. Oh my goodness. I'm very sorry everyone. This is unusual of Michael. Let me go and check on him. I don't think all is well with him. There is no excuse for irresponsibility. What does he take us for? Let me check on him first, please. Thank you. There you are. What is wrong with you Michael? What was that about? Do you want to lose your job? 
I don't know what is happening to me Nicholas. But I'm not alright. My mind is messed up. I just went blank. Michael, I can see you are not okay. Please go home and rest. I think that will help. Don't worry about the presentation. I will cover up for you. Thank you very much bro. I really appreciate that. God bless you. Amen. A few moments later. But why is my wife's car parked outside? Is she not supposed to be at work? Aish, I hope it's not her everyday outbursts. I'm getting tired of it all. There is no joy in this house. Anytime I return from work, I either see my wife crying or breaking things in anger. Tears, tears, tears. My house has turned into a funeral ground. God, please hear us and bless us with a child. Even if it's one child, we will appreciate. At least, there will be joy in this house. Please God, wipe this uncontrollable tears from my wife. But above all, I pray, your will, be done in our lives, in Jesus' name. Amen. One week later. You are all welcome to today's women's meeting. As we discussed in our previous meeting, we will be talking about how to become a good mother to your children. Well, I don't think this topic is for everyone here. As we can clearly see, some people among us have no idea of how to become pregnant. And what do you mean by that? Must you rub it in her face that she doesn't have a child? Are you God? Did I mention anyone's name? Please mind the way you talk to me. Sister Erin, please, it's okay. You don't need to fight because of me. Please, just forget about what she said. Allow me to put this woman in her place. I don't even know the kind of Christian she is. Will you ladies please stop these arguments? It's not godly to fight among yourselves as Christians. Anyone who argue again will be fined $200. Chair lady, can I please be excused? I don't feel so well. I would like to take my leave. That's okay, Sister Bonnie. You can leave. We will be praying for you to get well soon. Thank you very much. Two days later. Michael, you are still here. You are normally the first to leave when office closes. Why are you still here, bro? Aish, my friend, I don't feel like going home. What is the matter, Michael? For some time now, you have always been moody and sad. What is going on, bro? You know you can confide in me. It's my wife, bro. She has turned our home into a funeral ground. Always crying here and there. Can you imagine she has not spoken to me for the past three days? Not spoken to you, but why? According to her, I'm too relaxed about our childlessness. She said I don't care, simply because I don't cry all the time like she does. But trust me, bro. I do care. I always cry every night when she is asleep. I don't know when God is going to remember us. We are faithful to Him. We are dedicated to the things of the church. We help the needy when we can. Why is God not seeing the tears we shed all the time? Don't say that. God knows what is best for His children. Sometimes, we need to think and see what we can do to help ourselves in some situations as humans. Have you and your wife considered an adoption? I mean, that can lighten up your home. No bro, we haven't really thought about that. I think I will discuss that with my wife. Yeah, please do. At least there will be peace at home, and there will be something to go home to after work. I will discuss with my wife. I'm sure this will make her happy. Thank you very much Nicholas. You have really helped us with this suggestion. I'm glad I could be of help. A few moments later. Honey, here you are. How was your day? Nothing new. Same old mockery and insults. Honey, I have been thinking. What about going for an adoption? I mean, we will have our own baby to call us mum and dad. Really baby, will you be okay with that? If my lovely wife is okay with it, then I will be 100% okay with it. Thank you. Thank you baby. I'm very happy. I will love it baby. I have longed for this day. To be called a mother. In that case, we will go to the Grace Orphanage tomorrow God willing. I'm so excited baby, thank you. The next day. I hope you are okay Mr. and Mrs. Smith. You have seen the babies. Yes dear, and we are very happy. The babies are so lovely. Yes, and we will stick to baby number 15. She is so cute and lovely. In that case, let's go to superintendent's office to finalize the paperwork. You are both welcome once again. But before we sign anything, 
I would like to know if both of you agree to this adoption. Yes, ma'am. We both are on the same page. My husband is right. We really can't wait to have our little baby in our arms. That's glad to know. My little advice to you both is to love this child like your own. She is actually a lovely baby. She was brought here just a week ago. There was a car accident. Everyone on the bus died. Only this three weeks baby survived. Luckily she had a name tag on her ankle. The police did follow up, but upon reaching her extended family, they rejected her and called her a curse baby because she kills both her parents in that car accident. So that brought her here. That's a very sad story. Why did they have to blame the innocent baby? This is sad to hear. Very sad indeed. Her name is Blessing. Blessing Kennedy, but from today, she will be known as Blessing Smith. That sounds lovely. Please, treat her well. Love her. Don't let her feel left out if God should bless you with your own child. I know of a family. They came to adopt a baby boy. They later gave birth to twins, they maltreated their adopted son to a point that, we had to go and take the boy from them. I pray that won't be the case with Blessing. That will never happen to her ma'am. We will forever love and cherish her. You have nothing to worry about. We are God-fearing couple. We will bring her up in the fear of the Lord. In that case, let us go ahead and sign the necessary documents. Six months later. Michael, you seem very happy lately. Have you won a jackpot? By the grace of God, my home is very peaceful. My wife and my little angel make our home very lively and that's more than winning a jackpot. That's great to hear. I'm glad there is peace at long last. Let's meet at the cafeteria, there is more to talk about. That's okay. You are welcome Sister Erin. Thank you very much Sister Bonnie. How are your children and husband doing? They are blessed. Thanks for asking. What about your little baby girl? How is she? She is very fine by the grace of God. She is sleeping. I can see you are very happy with your new addition. But Sister Bonnie, are you not afraid? Afraid of what Sister Erin? I mean, having a total stranger in your home. And also, are you not worried that this child will or might end up bringing problem in your home in future? I mean, I have heard a lot of awful stories about adopted children. How they end up being ungrateful when they grow up. That will never be my portion in Jesus' name. My child is already the happiness of this house, and so shall it be forever and ever. Amen. I hope so Sister Bonnie. As for me, I can never take a total stranger into my home in the name of adoption. You might not even know the kind of spirit following that baby. Well, thank God you and I are two different people. My husband and I are extremely excited for having our own child. That's all that matters. Well, Sister Erin, my baby is awake. I need to attend to her. I will see you at church later. That's okay, Sister Bonnie. Four years later. Where are the two important ladies in my life? Come out, honey, where are you? Come and hear this good news. I heard you say good news. Tell me about it. I'm so excited, honey. Do you remember that multi-dollar contract my boss refused to apply? The one that you later used our own company documents to apply? Yes, that one. Guess what? What, honey? Don't tell me you have been awarded that contract. We have been awarded that contract, honey. God, you are so good. Wow. This is good. God is good. This is good news. I'm very excited. Well, I also have some good news to share. Really? I'm all ears, honey. Remember I told you I was not well this morning. I went to see Dr. Shari, and she told me that. I'm five weeks pregnant. We are pregnant, honey. Pregnant. You mean pregnant, as in pregnant, pregnant, honey? Yes, baby. I'm pregnant. Double happiness. Wow. I can't believe this. God. We thank you. This can only be your handwork. We are grateful. Please continue to do more wonders in our lives in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Ten years later. Mother, Junior has been disturbing me since we came back from school. He will not allow me do my homework in peace. Mother, that's not true. I was only playing my video game. I never disturbed her. Ah, oh, Junior. Speak the truth for once. Didn't you pull my hair? But it was only your hair. Was I not playing with you? 
Okay, okay. That's enough both of you. Blessing. Junior is sorry for disturbing you. He is your little brother. I always tell you to tolerate him. But mother I... As okay my baby girl. Don't mind him. Just go and finish your homework, so that you can come and join me in the kitchen. Won't you help mummy to cook today? Of course I will help my mother dearest. That's my beautiful girl, and you young man. I know you love your sister very much, and you always want to be around her. But please don't disturb her when she is doing her homework. Please. Okay mother, I'm very sorry blessing, I only wanted to play with you. It's okay Junior, I'm not angry at you. You know I love you so much, and wouldn't mind playing with you the whole day. But please, when I'm doing my homework, allow me to finish, then we can play. Remember the Bible says there is time for everything. Okay sis, I have heard you, please don't come and start with your preaching. <laughs> Three days later. Michael, thank you for the lift. I really appreciate it. Don't thank me, I know you very well. You will start thanking me, then eventually turn me into your driver. Didn't I tell you that this car will embarrass you? I told you to buy a new car, but you didn't listen. You are your own boss. I still work for someone. I can't afford a new car. Anyway, how is your family doing? God has been faithful my brother. They are all doing great. We thank God. I must find time to come and see them. I have been a very bad uncle. Thank God you know you are a bad uncle. Hello Auntie Erin. You are welcome. Thank you my dear. How are you doing? I'm very fine. Thank you for asking. Please come and have a seat. I will let my mother know you are here. Thank you my dear. Sorry for keeping you waiting. This one that you are here today, I hope all is well. It's been a while since you came here. All is well my dear. You know that my husband has not been feeling well, I'm mostly with him. So I decided to come and see you, since you and your husband always visit us every Sunday. In that case, you are welcome. What can I offer you? It's okay. Blessing already gave me something to drink. Thank you. Oh, okay. Sister Bonnie, this your girl is all grown into a beautiful young lady. Are you still not worried? Worried about what exactly Sister Erin? I mean, having such a beautiful teenager under your roof with your husband. Please don't get me wrong. You can say, you trust your husband, but can you trust this girl? You know teenagers, what if she traps your husband, and led him into sexual temptation, what will you do? Remember she is not your biological daughter, so your husband can have a secret affair with her. Can you even hear yourself speak Sister Erin? How can you think such of a girl who doesn't even know that she was adopted? This girl you are talking about, is our daughter for crying out loud. Please, I don't appreciate you coming to my house to create confusion in my mind. I knew you will not see my point of view, but think twice before it's too late. Even if your husband will not have an affair with her, what if he decides to will all your properties to this girl? I can see the love your husband has for this girl, and I can bet, he will put the girl's name on all your properties. I'm sorry Sister Erin, I was very busy when you came. I would like to go back to what I was doing, since you don't really have anything to talk about. My regards to your husband and the children. That's okay Sister Bonnie, but please think about what I have said. There is nothing to think about. Thank you. A few moments later. Goodness. Aish. No. Can she be right? I mean can my husband? No no no. My husband can never do such a disgusting act. But wait. What if she becomes very attractive to my husband? She is actually a very beautiful girl. No Bonnie. Snap out of this. Don't allow evil thoughts. But what if my husband wills everything to her? What will become of my son? I can never allow my husband to will everything to her. Junior is our only biological child, and he deserves all our properties. Yes, I think it's fair to give to our son what he truly deserves. I think he is back. I will ask him about this. You are welcome baby. Are you alright honey? You are not your usual self. I'm not okay honey, there is something I need to ask you. Okay, go ahead, I'm all ears. Please don't be offended, can you please tell me how you will share our properties among Blessing and our son? Where is this question coming from? 
And why do you say blessing in our son, instead of our children? What is going on? Nothing. Just answer me please. Well, I don't know where this question is coming from, but, it be shared 60, 40. That's, 60% for blessing, and 40% for junior. I see. Anyway, thank you. Are you sure all is well honey? All is well baby. Don't worry. If you say so. Three days later. Mother, didn't you hear me calling you? No mother, I didn't hear you. Of course, you will never hear me. Maybe your parents were deaf and dumb, so you have inherited it from them. Nonsense. Let me not call you more than twice before you respond to me. Mother, are you okay? Is everything alright? Because you are behaving weird. Don't you ever talk when I'm talking unless I ask you to do so. Now you're listen. Don't you go to our bedroom unless I ask you to. And don't you sleep with your door locked. Do you hear me? Okay mother. One last thing. I will not be taking you to school again. You know the way to your school. And when you close, find your way back. Don't wait for me. Okay mother. What is going on? Did I do anything wrong? Why is mother so angry at me? Dear God, please calm my mother's anger. Please may her heart never harden towards me. In Jesus' name, Amen. What is she discussing with my husband? Gosh. Are you okay baby? Are you not happy that I'm going out on weekend? You want me to stay home as usual, right? I'm okay dad. Please say hello to Uncle Nicholas for me. Just take care of your mother and brother. I will dad. What were you discussing with my husband? Mother, what is going on? Have I done anything wrong? Because you have been behaving weird lately. Don't you ever call me weird. Do you hear me? <laughs> Stay away from my husband. I will not warn you again. Rubbish. <laughs> Eat your food, Junior. What is wrong with you? You have not eaten anything since morning. Eat something, then we will go out. It is weekend, we will have fun. I will not touch this food unless my sister is here. I always eat with her. Since last week, you have been very cold towards her. You beat her up for the least offense. You make her walk from home to school and from school to the house. Why mother, what changed? We used to do everything together in love. What happened? Stop asking me questions. I'm tired of pampering you to eat. If you don't want to eat, that's your business. You can stay hungry if you want. Just make sure you don't give my food to blessing. Period. Honey you are back. Yes madam, I'm back. In fact I came 30 minutes ago and I heard your conversation with your son. Oh, that. Yes that. How could you treat your own child like that? What did she do to you? Why the sudden hate for her? This girl loves you with everything in her. Goodness, I should have known something was wrong. She has not been happy lately. I'm very disappointed in you Bonnie. You have disappointed me. I never expected this from you. You can be disappointed in me. That's your business. I don't care. I just hope from the way you are defending her, you have not started sleeping with her. May God have mercy on you Bonnie. May God forgive you for what you just said. I never knew you were a dirty minded lady. You cried to God for so many years for a child. Maybe this is the reason why God didn't want to bless your womb in the first place. You are a heartless woman. Because you now have a child of your own, you want to maltreat this girl. You should be ashamed of yourself. Shame on you. You can rant all you want. Just make sure you don't cheat on me with that girl. Period. You are out of your mind. I don't need to argue with you. But from today onwards, I don't want to hear you lay this your hands on that girl. She is still my child. My firstborn. That's your business. Seven days later. Blessing. Yesterday your mother nearly broke my leg when I came looking for you. She warned me never to come to her house again. What is going on my friend? I have no idea my friend. My mother's attitude towards me has changed totally. I don't know what I did wrong. Just like that. Just like that. Do you know this morning I went to her in tears. I asked her to forgive me if I have wronged her in any way. She poured water on me instead. Have you spoken to your dad about it? No my friend, I don't want to cause misunderstanding between them. But you must have an appropriate time to tell him. I mean, he is your dad, he must know what is happening to his child. You are right, but I trust God, 
I know everything will be all right. I'm going to a business trip for one week. If you so wish, kill Blessing before I return. Why don't you take her along with you then? That will be nice because I hate seeing her face. Just try to be a good Christian for these seven days. At least let there be peace in this neighborhood. Bye bye. Just go. I'm not ready to argue with you. Let's see how he will give her 60% of our property. I will make sure I send her packing from this house before he returns. Let her go to the orphanage. That's where she belongs. Rubbish. Two days later. Mother please, don't send me away. I have nowhere to go. I promise not to touch your food again. I was starving. I hadn't eaten for two days. You are a thief. I can't have a thief in my house. So just go. I now understand why your extended family refused to accept you as their own. Extended family? What do you mean mother? What I mean is that you don't belong to this family. You are not our biological child. We adopted you because your family rejected you. It's a lie. Mother, tell me this is a lie. You are an orphan. We adopted you from the orphanage. We are only doing you a favor. But you have overstayed your welcome. Just pick up your rugs, and get out, and never return. <laughs> so I'm not your biological child. Is that why you hate me? Why did you take me if you knew you wouldn't be able to love me like your own? How did I wrong you? Because I'm adopted, so you will maltreat me. Why? Why mother? Just go away from here. Period. Mother, please open the door. I'm freezing out here. Please mother, it's late, and I'm getting scared. Junior, please open the door. Please have mercy on me mother. I have nowhere to go. Hmm. Aish. The next day. Mother, I checked Blessing's room, and she is not there. Didn't you open the door for her to come in last night? No, I didn't. I told you she is not your sister. You are our only child. So let her go and look for her family. Mother, I don't care about what you say. All I know is she is my sister. The only one I knew since my childhood. I can't live without her. Ouch. My head aches badly. Uh, 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 uh. Junior, wake up. What happened? Someone call ambulance. My son is dying. Ambulance. A few moments later. Doctor please. How is my son? I'm sorry Mrs. Smith. Your son has snapped into coma. We took some blood sample from him for tests. The results came out negative. Meaning there is nothing wrong with your son medically. What do you mean nothing is wrong with him medically doctor? He fell right in front of me. I'm as shocked as you are. From the tests done so far, there is nothing wrong with him, but his body is shutting down. I wonder what the problem is. But don't worry, we will run more tests on him. Please save my son doctor. Don't let him die. He is all I got. We will do our best. The next day. Honey, how is my son doing? I left everything I was doing to come and see how he is doing. Why are you now coming? Don't you care about your child? Don't you dare talk to me like that. You have no idea what I'm going through. I'm just coming from the warehouse because they called me on my way here that the place was on fire. What? On fire? Yes, the warehouse has burnt into ashes. Goods worth millions of dollars have all been burnt down. No, no, this cannot be happening. Why is God doing this to us? Anyway, let's talk about Junior for now. What's happening? What's the doctor saying? They have done so many tests. The doctor said there is nothing wrong with him medically. What does that mean? How can he be okay medically and still be in coma? Aish, I'm just confused. Anyway, let me go and talk to the doctor. A few moments later. <laughs> God, please don't let my son die. Father Lord, I'm here in front of your temple. Please hear my prayer and heal my son. I just can't lose my son God. You cannot take him from me. My husband's warehouse has burned down. What is happening to us? God, you can't take everything from us. You must hear my cry for help. Why are you here blaming God for your old bad beats? You brought this upon yourself and your family. You cried day and night for a child. 
God answered you and blessed you with a girl with golden heart. She brought you nothing but good luck. But what did you do to her? You drove her out into the street. Who are you? Who I am doesn't matter. Your problems began the day you drove that innocent girl out of your house. She is out there. She cries day and night. She is shuddered. Until she is found, you and your husband will lose everything permanently. God bless you through that girl. Since she is out of your lives, your child, your success, and happiness, will be out of your lives as well. You humans can be forgetful. You have been ungrateful, wicked, and heartless. Did you forget the Lord God, the one you asked for help? Please, I'm sorry for my bad deeds. Forgive me, I can bear losing everything, but I won't be able to survive if my son dies. Go and look for the one who needs to forgive you. Else, you will lose your son. Honey, I haven't seen Blessing since I returned. Where is she? Blessing, erm, um, well honey, Blessing, she, erm, um, she, she, aish. Blessing, erm, um, she, she, aish, what, where is she? I'm sorry honey, forgive me, I don't know what came over me. I sent her out of the house two days ago. You sent my little girl out of the house Bonnie. You are evil, you are heartless, a grill you are supposed to protect, you rather exposed her to danger. She is all alone out there, on the street. How could you be this wicked Bonnie? I'm sorry honey, please forgive me. Don't worry, I will go out there and look for my child. A few moments later. I have filed a missing persons case at the police station. I pray they find my little angel for me. My God, my savior. Defend the weak and the fatherless. Uphold the cause of the poor and the oppressed, O oh God. Do not let my daughter be harmed. Let her be found safe and sound, in Jesus name. Amen, and Amen. One week later. Aish, why is the doctor calling me? I hope it's not a bad news. Hello doctor. Hello Mr. Smith. Have you people concluded on what you are going to do about the life support machine? There is no improvement. I suggest you people turn of the machine, so that the little one can rest in peace. My wife and I will come to the hospital this evening. We will conclude everything when we come. Thank you. Bye doctor. How can I possibly turn off that machine? Doing that means killing my own son. I don't have the heart to do that. Why are all these happening to me? Why God? Over seven days since I reported my missing daughter's case to the police. Till date, they have not found her. This is too much for me to bear. I'm dying slowing within. Aish, Aish, and who is that? Father, father. I have looked for you everywhere. God I thank you. My name is Officer Adams. Your daughter is a lucky child. We arrested some notorious gangs who are into human trafficking. They were on their way to transport your child and some other girls when we arrested them. You must please come with me to the police station to sign some documents. And you don't need to worry, we did medical checkups on your daughter and she is fine. God richly bless you officer. But for now, we need to rush to the hospital. I will come to the police station later. That's okay. A few moments later. This is a miracle Mr. and Mrs. Smith. The moment your daughter entered the ICU room and spoke to your son, he just sneezed and started talking to his sister like he was never sick. I still can't believe it. Thank you God. I'm happy my son is back to life. Glory be to God. This can only be him. I'm so happy my son is well again and my daughter has been found. I'm happy for you, Mr. and Mrs. Smith. Blessing my girl, please forgive me for everything I did against you. Please find a place in your heart to forgive me. I have forgiven you Mrs. Smith, but I don't think I can ever see you as my mother again. Trust me, I have forgiven you, but I can't forget the trauma you made me go through. I'm sorry, but that's the fact. Your feelings are justified, I understand. I pray as time goes on, you will be able to see me as your mother again. The next day. What are you looking for Sister Erin? Hi Sister Bonnie. Well, I heard your girl Blessing has been found, and she is back home. Yes, you heard right. Is there a problem? Sister Bonnie, why did you allow her back into your home? Hold it right there madam. I don't need your advice. And please, from today, 
I don't want to see you in my house again. You are a bad influence. Stay away from me and my family. Sister Bonnie, I was only trying to. I beg you in the name of God, don't try to do anything for me. I don't need it. Just get out. Go away. The end. There we have it family. Sometimes, we invite troubles into our lives without realizing it. Bonnie later realized that Aaron was bad influence. But should we blame Aaron or Bonnie for what her family went through? Please let me hear from you by leaving your comment in the comments section. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. Also, give the video a thumb up and share it. God bless you all.